everyone and welcome back to H&H &H Knowledge Hub. In today's video, we will learn about what biodiversity is and what lifestyles are suitable for life. How does an environment support life? A habitat is a place where an organism lives. Every environment is a habitat for organisms. From superheated hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor to snow-covered mountainsides. Even a tiny puddle is home to a variety of life, which is a microhabitat. Conditions suitable for life existency. Habitats support life because they have conditions that suit the organisms that live there. The conditions necessary for life include a relatively stable temperature range, space for organisms to live and grow, sources of food, water and gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. Organisms are adapted to their habitat. The organisms that are found in a certain habitat are adapted to live in their certain habitat conditions. For example, polar bears are adapted to live in polar regions with thick layers of blubber and thick fur which keeps their bodies warm. What is biodiversity? The number and a variety of plants, animals, and other organisms living in an area is defined as the biodiversity of an area. It can also be described as the many genetic traits observed within a given species or the variation of genes within a species. High Biodiversity Ecosystems Higher biodiversity makes ecosystems more stable. If more species exist in an area, the more likely it is that some of them will survive change. Low biodiversity ecosystems Lower biodiversity will make the ecosystem less stable. If a certain species becomes extinct, it will be hard for the other organisms to survive. The same is true with the genetic diversity within a particular species. The greater genetic diversity, the more likely some members of the species will survive environmental change. Why is biodiversity important for ecosystems? Ecosystems are made up of living and non-living things interacting with each other. Living things depend on their environment for food, water, shelter, and space to live. High biodiversity provides more opportunities to meet these important needs, which also increases the chance of survival when faced environmental change. Stability in ecosystems Ecosystems with high biodiversity has many different species that constantly interact with each other. Each species has a role in its ecosystem relative to other organisms. This role is called a niche. In diverse ecosystems, different species have similar roles. If a particular species is lost, another species could take over its niche. But in low biodiversity ecosystems, there might not be another species to take over its niche, which makes the ecosystem unbalanced. Organisms are interdependent. Relationships among organisms are important because they help maintain the constant flow of energy and nutrients in the environment. The loss of any species in an interrelated ecosystem could affect many other species. How do scientists determine biodiversity? Scientists determine biodiversity by counting, identifying, and classifying organisms. The most commonly used method is the quadrant sampling, which is a measurement technique that allows scientists to count a small portion of organisms in a given area and multiply that with the total area. Why is biodiversity important for humans? People are part of ecosystems too, and we depend on other organisms to help keep the ecosystems suitable for life. For example, different species help maintain nutrient cycles and the quality of our air, water, and soil. People also depend on other species for medicine, food, clothing, and other products. Biodiversity provides economic benefits through nature-based tourism and ecotourism. Why is sustainability important? Sustainability is important for humans because it gives human needs from food to shelter. Sustainability is the ability of an environment to meet human needs indefinitely. In the past few decades, Sustainability has become a concern because resources are used up very quickly. Human population depend on access to clean air, soil, water, minerals, and fossil fuels, which are used up very quickly. 
Overuse of resources has led to habitat losses and pollution. Maintaining sustainability is when people use resources wisely, which promotes to more diverse ecosystems that have more resources available. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.